Hello, brothers and sisters. It's Melissa again. Um, just wanted to come on and, and share with you an encouraging dream that I had had a, a few years ago. Um, it was just about running our race. And in the dream, I was with my husband and I was with another couple that we hang out with. And we were walking to a restaurant. Well, we got into the restaurant and my husband and this couple uh, knew someone there and they went off to speak to them. And I said, well, I said, I'll just um, stand in line and I'll get us a table. So I, I stood in line, but in the dream, people kept on kind of butting up in front of me. Um, they were cutting into the line. Um, and then before I knew it, I was way out the door out in the parking lot. And then while I was out in the parking lot, it was people were kind of starting to get into arguments. And so um, I heard I heard the Lord say, Melissa, just just start running. And so I said, okay, Lord. So I, I started running, uh, running and, uh, in the dream, there was a family of four behind me and there was, a a, a boy about maybe 10 years old and there was a little girl about five. Um, but in the dream, they, they were running with me and then they started, um, kind of falling behind a little bit. Um, but I noticed that in the dream, it was, it was almost like they were, um, just being kind of nasty and, and saying mean things to me as, as I was running. And so the parents fell down and they fell off and then the little girl eventually fell off and she, and she fell down and then the little boy, um, also kind of fell away. And so I heard the Lord tell me, Melissa, just keep your eyes fixed on me and run faster. So I said, okay, Lord. So as I was running, um, a, another uh, group of people started running with me. And they, too, were just, I, I couldn't tell in the dream, but they were just, kind of yelling at me and um, I, I couldn't really tell what they were saying, but I knew that they were trying to discourage me as I was running my race. So um, the Lord just kept on telling me to run faster, Melissa, you need to run faster. So I, I started running faster and eventually those people fell away. So then um, I was heading towards the end of the dream and then uh, this time, uh, four people that were very strong, strong runners. I mean, I had a person in front of me. I had um, two people on the side of me. And then I had another person, you know, that was in the back of me. And they were running. And they, too, were just kind of, you know, yelling and screaming at me. Um, and it, it took me a while, but I heard... Jesus say, you know, Melissa, just run faster. Keep your eyes fixed on me and, and run faster. So I ran faster and um, finally all four of those people fell away. And then um, and then all of a sudden I, I was still running my race, but I heard the Lord um, speak a, a scripture over me. And I just kind of wanted to share that scripture with you. It's out of Isaiah 40. And I'm just going to read it to you. But this this is what the Lord said to me within, within the dream before I woke up. Um, usually when I have a dream, um, God always gives me a Bible verse in my dream. So this is what he said. It says, Have you not known, have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth does not faint or grow weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He gives power to the faint and weary. And to him who has no might, he increases their strength, causing it to multiply and making it abound. Even youths shall faint and, and be weary, which... In the beginning of the dream, that's what I saw because there was youth running after me, but they they fell away. 
and selected young men shall feebly stumble and fall exhausted. So again, that's what I was seeing in my dream. But Isaiah, uh, verse, it's chapter 40, verse 31. It says, but those who wait for the Lord, who expect and look for and hope in him, shall change and renew their strength and power. They shall lift their wings and mount up close to God as eagles mount up to the sun. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint or or become tired. So this was something that the Lord had, um, you know, spoken over me. Um, but during the dream, um, I had also had been hearing um, the Lord say, you know, Melissa, you need to keep your eyes fixed on me. Keep looking at me. When I was running in the dream, he's like, Melissa, just keep looking at me. Keep looking up. And so another uh, verse that kind of came to mind, um, he did not speak this verse over me, but this was just something that um, I had been reading and studying. It's in Hebrews 12. Um, it says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance, the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and the perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners that you will not grow weary and lose heart. So I just kind of wanted to come on and encourage you um, today just, just to keep on running your race. I know things for me have gotten hard lately. Um, I, I try to share a lot of things on Facebook, and uh, some things aren't very well re received by people, but... Um, you know, we have to just keep going and enduring. I know the things in this world, um, just our everyday lives, is, is just getting harder and harder um, to, to run the race. But I have noticed that some of my brothers and sisters in Christ are really starting, starting to show signs of weariness. And they have even told me, Melissa, I'm growing tired and I'm growing weary. But I just want to encourage you to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. No matter what, no matter how hard it gets, keep running. And when things start getting harder, run faster. Because that's what the Lord told me to do. He's like, Melissa, when you are starting to feel weak and weary, just keep running. And don't, you know, and I just want to encourage you to don't let any other outside influences or people make you um, want to, to quit your race. It's it's not worth it. Um, because I did feel like some of these people that were running along uh, beside me, um, they may have been believers. They may not have been believers. But I, I really felt in the dream, even though I couldn't hear what they were saying, it felt to me in the dream that they were trying to discourage me and they were trying to, to, to pull me back. And so, um, I just want to encourage you. Don't let people do that to you. Just, just keep running, keep going. Um, Jesus is coming for us. We don't know when, um, we know that we are living in the very last of days on this earth. Um, you know, there's just so much Bible prophecy being fulfilled. Um, so I just want to encourage you. Just know that you are, are loved by the Lord. He sees you. He knows what you're going through. Um, keep watch. Keep vigilant. Um, keep ministering to people. Uh, for all you watchmen, just keep on warning. Um, but keep going. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus and keep running the race. Because I'm telling you what, I want to see all my brothers and sisters at the finish line. So, okay, well, that was it for today. Um, love you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, feel free to leave me comments. 
Um, I am new to YouTube, and so I, I don't have much, um, you know, much experience with this, but I just know what God lays on my heart to share with you, and I just want to be obedient um, to Him and His will and what He has me to do in this life. So, okay, I love you guys. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. It's beautiful here in Ohio today, very sunny, so um, I'm going to go enjoy my day. Okay, bye-bye.